Hey everybody, Brian with Easy Retriever Training, and today we're going to talk about how do you get your dog to jump into the back of the truck. Um, whether you've got an old dog or a new dog, doesn't matter. The things we're going to do today, uh, we'll have your dog jumping in the back of the truck in no time. All right, so let me give you some background before we head outside. Uh, about six or seven weeks ago, my dog had an accident. Uh, if you followed our, 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 uh, our YouTube videos or the website, easyretrievertraining.com, then you're kind of aware of what happened with that. But as a result, for several weeks, I've had to lift my dog in the back of the truck or in the back seat whenever we've gone somewhere. Uh, and she's kind of gotten into that habit. So now, although I know she's 100% physically back to where she, she was before, um, mentally she's got a block. And so as she, she'll walk up to the back of the tailgate, she'll put her paws up, and then she waits for me to, to load her into the back of the truck. And so I'll give the command load up. And that for her, the command load up means go over to the tailgate and wait for me to lift her in. And that's not where we're at. Uh, now, granted, she for five years, five and a half years, she's jumped back into the back of the truck without any problem. And so you might be thinking, well, this isn't, you know, this isn't the situation you're in. Don't worry, because whether you've got a brand new dog or you're in my situation, you're trying to retrain a dog, the process is going to be exactly the same. Uh, some things you're going to want to bring with us when we go outside. Um, if you're if you've clicker trained your dog, which I've not to lady, not yet. I'm thinking about playing with that. Maybe there'll be a video later on about clicker training an old dog, but I've not. So I'm just going to bring a bag of treats and I'm going to bring a whole bunch of patience because uh, this is one thing, uh, you know, it, teaching your dog to sit, you can kind of physically put them into that position or it's a position that dogs tendency to go, you know, you can kind of lead them there with some hand actions and stuff. Jumping to the back of the truck, it, it takes a long time for them to actually do what you want them to do. And so you've got to make it as easy as possible. And part of that is, is you've got to be in the right frame of mind. So bring a lot of patience with you. Your dog may not get it the first or even the second time. Uh, once they do get it and they jump into the back of the truck two or three times, you might be golden and they may just take off from there and jump every time in the back of the truck. On the flip side of that though, you're, you may, your dog may jump into the back of the truck two or three times and you think they've got it. And then the next morning you go out and they've totally forgotten and they're waiting for you to lift them in again. So just have a ton of patience. This is one of those things that it can take a little bit of time. You know, maybe you'll be lucky and you'll be one of those guys that gets the dog that, that figures it out right away. If not, just be patient. Just keep going through this process and, and the time will come when your dog will start, they'll get it and they'll, they'll figure it out. And just like sit or lay or come, eventually it'll just become, it'll become rope memory and they'll be doing it every time. All right, let's go outside and I'll show you what I do. Okay, so if one of the first things that we uh, that I want to look for is I want to look for a place that makes the the jump up into the truck more of like a step than a than a real jump. Um, I want to. Uh, yeah. She's back there. She wants to get out pretty bad. Uh, I found where I, I'm. Find, I found what I'm looking for, and I, and the great thing is the spot that I found. There's a there's several different uh, levels, and so I can I can position the truck in one place where she can essentially just step over into it. Uh, I can move it around so she can so it has to be a little bit of jump, and then hopefully we'll be able to move uh, farther a bit farther away from it where it's it's the actual jump like from level ground. So uh, let's get out and get things set up, get the camera set up, and then we'll we'll start the process. So this is what I'm using for treats today. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you use, uh, but this is, we're going Carolina style barbecue uh, with real style chicken. Um, she seems to like them and that's really all that matters. So I want the treat ready and out of the bag so that as soon as she gets up into the back of the truck, I can reward her for that. We're just gonna do that five or six times until she gets it and then we'll move the truck a little bit so it's a little bit more of a, re a reach. Um, we'll do it five or six times, you see, and then, you know, once she stalls, I'm gonna go back to uh, where she last had success and we'll end there and we'll just keep going back and back until until it's until she's jumping in and I to be honest I don't know how long it's gonna take you don't know how long it's gonna take with your dog um, but just be patient and expect expect three weeks and when it's two days you're pre you're pleasantly surprised lady load up load up load up hi girl come on lady lady load up load up Good girl, good girl, all right. Yeah, good girl, lots and lots of praise. All right, lady, come. Good girl, all right. Lady, load up. Okay, so you see how easy that was for her. I'm just gonna make sure she gets that treat, gets to enjoy it for a minute, and the collar back down. Lady, come. 
All right, lady, lady, load up, load up. Good girl, good girl. All right, come, come on. Okay, so she's done that pretty well. She's got it, uh, you know, that's pretty simple. About any dog, any size could do that. So I'm gonna pull the truck forward just a little bit, make it a little bit more of a jump. Before she has to jump up, jumping over ought to be a little bit easier for her. So we're gonna move the load up. Load up. Uh oh, come on. What happened? Hey, what happened? What happened? Okay, come on, load up. Good girl. Good girl, yes. What a girl. All right, so give you an idea now. We've got a, similar, a little bit longer jump, but she's gonna have to jump up a little bit more this time. Gonna start her up the hill. Should be should be easy, but we'll just see see how this goes. Lady, come. Lady, load up, load up. Oh yeah, she kind of balked at that one, so we're just gonna back her up, get her kind of excited. Lady, good girl. All right, good girl, load up. Come on, load up. Good girl. All right, lady, lady, good girl. Come on, load up. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> okay, so the first couple times uh, from this new with this new angle, she kind of balked a little bit, wasn't certain. Uh, you just call them back, get her really excited, uh, use your voice. That's really all it takes to build their enthusiasm. Um, and then once she did, once she nailed it, then three or four more times, she she was very comfortable and knew that she was able to do that without uh, without being it, well, without hurting herself or um, without getting hung up. So I'm going to do it a few more times from here, and then uh, we'll try it before we end this training session. We'll try it from the, the ground level and see how she does. Stay. All right, we've dropped Lady onto just a pretty level ground. This is pretty much, um, that's pretty much the jump that we're going to be asking her to make no, no matter where she's at. So, uh, hey, Lady, Lady, load up, load up. Good girl. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of how it goes. That's what I was talking about in the introduction. Like just because you get a dog to do something two or three times on command doesn't mean that they're going to have it down perfectly. Uh, I'm not sure what happened at the end of our training session. She lost interest or she got tired or got sore. Um, she, there was no, she wasn't yelping and acting like she hurt, but maybe she just got tired and lost interest. I tried to break it up with some fun retrieves, but even that wasn't enough to get her jump in. So rather than ending on a sour note, uh, you know, I just backed the truck up to the last place where she she had had success and where it was really simple for her and gave her the command it took a couple of times to encourage her but finally she jumped in the truck and we ended the training session there just to make sure that we ended on a positive note uh rewarded her gave her a lot of praise um rubbed her down a little bit and and now tomorrow i'll pick up from where we left off today and that, that i may have to do this for a week maybe two weeks but eventually with enough repetition you know whatever it is that's impeding her uh, she's going to get over that and we'll we'll be back to where we were before she had the accident. Training dogs would be way easier if they could talk to you and tell you what their, uh, you know, what their hang up is. But since they can't, you and I just have to have a lot of patience and uh, go through a lot of repetitions, uh, go through a lot of treats sometimes. Uh, but in the end, it's all worth it when they start, when they, when it clicks and they make it through that, uh, that impediment or that obstacle, whatever it is. Uh, it's it's a pretty good feeling. So so keep working hard. Make sure you keep uh, if you haven't already, click subscribe. Make sure you hit the notifications so that as we as we crank out more videos, you're able to get notified and, and follow up with us. Uh, hope everything's going good. If you've got questions or things that uh, you're wondering about, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how long it takes 
you to get your dog jumping up into the truck without any problems and with it, even without any treats. I uh, can't wait to hear from you and we'll see you in the next video.